This is your CBS 46 News Update, brought to you by West Shore Home. I'm Rick Fulbaum, and we start with breaking new information on the Interstate 75 disaster in Cobb County. Today, more than a dozen vehicles turned into a giant fiery ball of metal, and tonight, the interstate is still shut down as investigators work to clean up the mess. Our cameras caught the massive smoke cutting through the rain and the trees with victims still trapped in mangled cars. Meantime, on the ground, chilling pictures of cars cut in half, flattened beyond recognition. It all happened just north of the perimeter near the 575 branch. That's about 30 minutes north of the downtown connector. We're told that one person was killed in this fiery pileup. Several others were injured. It happened around noon as storms were moving through the metro. The driver of a tractor trailer involved in the crash says the crash had a domino effect. Investigators are still at the scene and they expect that road to remain closed, at least through this evening's rush. And we need help right now. We, we lost a child who takes a child. A crime alert tonight, a slain child's family desperate for answers. They say 12 year old David Mack left home to go play at a friend's house and never came home. His own family members eventually found his body dumped in a creek. Police say he had been shot. Mack's family is now asking for anyone who knows what happened to speak up. A vote on whether to convict former President Trump could come over the weekend. House managers wrapped up their arguments tonight. They tried to link Mr. Trump's words to the actions of the mob that attacked the Capitol on January 6th using clips of the rioters' own words. Listen. I thought I was following my president. I thought I was following what we were called to do. Donald Trump told these insurrectionists to come to the Capitol and stop the steal. House Democrats also argue Mr. Trump lacked any remorse in the aftermath of the violence. Some Republican senators, including Ted Cruz, argue the language of the former president does not come close to meeting the legal standard for incitement. And Trump's political advisor, Jason Miller, tweeted that Mr. Trump's legal team will wrap up their presentation tomorrow. New video tonight. A police officer in Marietta is alive after a stolen car gets within inches of hitting him. Marietta police posted this video onto their Facebook page. They got a tip about a stolen car from Clayton County. That car ended up barreling through Marietta Square. The officer jumped out of the way. The two teens inside the car are in jail tonight. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News. Brought to you by West Shore Homes, Atlanta's one-day bath remodeler.